You land, deploy the drill, will generate a lot of heat and use a lot of power. Then you need to convert uh, the convertitron to convert the order fuel. The higher level your engineer, the more efficient these steps are. Okay. So I might actually want to just have an, an engineer and a scientist on Duna if we want to actually do this. Minmus is a good place to try out drilling and refining ore. Super easy to launch stuff off Minus. Minmus so you can use the ore to make fuel and launch long range missions from Minmus. Interesting. It's only nice for a space station orbit of Minmus with a Minmus base. If you have that set up, you can kind of start your rockets empty from Kerbin and refuel them in Minmus orbit. So it sounds like if I want to drill, I should be using Minmus for this rather than Duna. Okay. Well, maybe I set this up on Minmus then. Um, still, if I want to do it... Um, okay. Drillomatic Mining Excavator, Drillomatic Junior. How big is this guy? Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Okay. Can I like can I do this on the front of this guy? Would this actually work? Can I deploy drill? <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty cool. Minmus is the world's largest gas station, nice. And you need big empty fuel tanks to store the fuel. Okay. Um and I need to, pr so you, basically you drill the ore, then you s convert it, and then you store it in tanks, is what it sounds like you're saying we do. Would I, would you want to do all of this on the uh, rover, or would you like want to collect it here and then bring it back and have the Convertitron going? The drill deployed the rover looks like a mosquito. <laughs> It works best on a regular lander. What's a regular lander? Are you talking about like a, an actual science-based type thing I was thinking of setting up? The fuel stuff gets pretty big. Okay. Could I collect the ore with... So, uh, I guess my question is, is it worth using a rover to drill for stuff and then bring it back? Or should I just have the drill and... The convertitron and the storage all just connected to each other. You like using a BOP as a refueling station for ELU. You use rovers for science in different biomes. Okay, that makes sense. I want to just try to... I just want to try to use this... Uh, drive this thing around here. A vampire walrus. <laughs> Get off this walrus thing. It's not a walrus. It's a rover. It's a great rover. I wonder how heavy that drill is on the front of this thing, by the way. Okay, is it? All right, it's oriented correctly. Okay. Oh, man, I just like driving this thing. You can drill on carpet and see how it works. Okay. Woo! <laughs> oh, this thing is freaking fast. Play with the rover for science. You'll see how big the processors are when you see them. Processors. Okay, let's deploy this drill and see what happens. So my drilling stuff right now. How's my energy doing, by the way? Electric charge is maxed. Okay. What if all walruses are secretly vampires? Okay. My electric seems good. I don't know if this is doing anything. It's deployed. Or rate NA. Is that because you can't drill at Kerbal at Kerbin Space Station? Break. Okay. There. I'm. I've. I'm braked. It's not going anywhere to go, and there may be nothing there. Okay. And I don't have a tank to store the ore. Okay. So, it sounds like uh, it's better to use the rover for getting science from different areas, but not as useful for drilling. How, how would you move the drill around, though, to where you need it to go? You said a regular lander. Do you use, like, just a portable lander to get the drill around to different places let me uh i revert to uh vehicle assembly here mine's of one of my favorite quotes from a certain british gets comedy show okay so um if i wanted to do not drilling but science map it with a surface scanner and then land on a high ore area i've not used a surface scanner yet um the survey scanner
So this is something you have to use in orbit, right? When I tried to use it, I think you have to be like over the poles or something. Basically put into a polar orbit. Okay. That's how you find out where the ore is. Okay. So what I want to do is design a ship. It's got a survey scanner on it. We find out where the ore is, then we land where the ore is, and we have some sort of deployable thing that can mine it. We need to start the drilling. It is only deployed. I don't know if it was going to let me do that. You can launch a polar satellite around Kerbin to see how it works. Maybe I should test this on Kerbin. Um, well, I guess I could just test the... Uh, a polar satellite. So polar satellite's one that goes vertically around the planet, right? Because I'm not going to want to try to drill on Kerbin because I'd have to, like, get a rocket and fly around to wherever the stuff is. Mobile drills with big ore tanks and then taking the ore back to the Vertitron actually would work well. Um, like, because I already have a science base set up, I wonder if I could latch onto my science base as like a convertitron base because I can already you know uh, send information back with my satellite mining is a multi-mission endeavor okay um, I'm trying to figure out how I best want to do this I think for sure I want to send an engineer down there if engineers are going to be in charge of mining I kind of like the idea even though this is not getting us to do that I kind of like the idea of starting drilling on on Minmus to start converting to fuel and using that as like a secondary launch point. Okay. So if I were to do that, I think I would still want to take this thing up there because this could get us around to get more science and stuff on Minmus. Survey scanner needs a polar orbit with specific height. It will say it when you try to run it. Okay. All right. So what I sounds like I want to do is launch a mission to Minmus that's got a satellite I can drop off in polar orbit, then try to land near my science base that's like a drilling mission. Could I do a train-like rover with multiple modules using clamps? That's interesting. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to I w if I want to do science, what kind of science would I want to do or put on this this guy here? I wonder if I could do some sort of... Uh, that's too big. If I could do a service base with some science stuff inside of it. You can, and when you set the clamp so they swing, it makes it really funny to drive them around. <laughs> I kind of want to get the big thing with all the science stuff in it. So I wonder if I want to do another clamp guy here, or another, uh, getting more and more uh, complicated here. So if I want to do the big service bay and put all the science inside of this, It's upside down. Uh, you're right. It is upside down. There we go. That's right. This might be getting too big for... Well, we'll worry about that later. So I want to do X, R, S. Here we go. Space these guys out better, so like halfway between those two, like that. You can put it in vertically. What are you talking about? Calling it, this rover will just get longer and longer till Rand names it the centipede. <laughs> That's going to be very back heavy, I feel like. Center of mass. Well, it's the center of mass still in the middle. Okay, so if I were to put a bunch of science stuff in here, and this is my little science, portable science bay. Okay, that's going to start moving it backwards as I put science stuff in here. 
Oh wait, you know what? I have a sub assembly for this. Hold on a second. Sub assembly science compartment. Hey, there we go. Let's see what all I got in here. Fluid. Uh, a lot of this stuff is not going to work. I have a surface scanning module, which I don't think a lot of this stuff would actually work in here. Star string. When you launch the rover, you can uh, rotate it upright. This means you can make the fairing tall instead of wide. So I could s swing this whole thing vertically, like like is what you're saying, saucer. So like the surface scanning module, that's the one. No, it's the survey scanner. Oh, this would work. So this would work while I'm on the planet. You're pretty sure all this will work on Duna? Well, I'm actually planning on doing this on Minmus. So some of this probably wouldn't work because Minmus doesn't have an atmosphere. But I think we'll just leave this still. That's fine. Looks like a spider with a fat butt. <laughs> It's pretty back heavy right now. I wonder if it'd be better just put it in the middle. That probably would be better. And I can have uh, maybe my uh, s solar panels off. Well, I can put some solar panels on the top of this thing. Something like this. Only thing that won't work, won't work on won't work on Minmus is the atmosphere scanner. Okay. You want everything as low to the ground as possible. I mean, I guess I could like move this thing inside of these guys. That'd be kind of weird though. If I did some sort of like this kind of thing. That lowers the center of the mass, center of mass, but. Try ro try driving it, it'll roll easily. Let me have it just barely in there and try driving it and see what this feels like. Okay. Save. Let me put, uh, well, where's my engineer? Bill, you're going to have to drive this thing anyway. Let's give this a try and see what it feels like. If it clips with the wheels, it will give you issues. Okay. You would really want to move this stuff out of the container so I can balance it all. I don't know, just putting a bunch of this stuff on the back of the rover feels like it would look funky, but maybe I can try that. Let's see what happens with it like this. Oh, that already looks heavier. I like how he's got his helmet on. It does look kind of goofy in this big giant container, though. Wow, it's still... Man, these things are fast. Oh! <laughs> All right, don't do fast turns. Yikes. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Man, this thing goes so fast. Boom. You know, Bill is no Jebediah when it comes to driving around well. I probably want these things to be like vertical uh oriented differently differently so they're not sticking out the side. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Even better. Good driving. Okay, well, they didn't explode that time. Look at the wheels still turning. I don't know if you'll be able to... This might be an issue as I'm driving around. Is there a way... Hmm. Is there a way to make it so that if it turns upside down, it's not that big a deal? Can I make, like, two stacked up top of each other with wheels on top and wheels on the bottom? What's up, Flash Wolf? Ironically, building land vehicles in a game called Space Program. I know, right? Well, maybe it would be better just to put this stuff on the back because the service bay is pretty heavy. Might be able to flip with a reaction wheel. Oh, yeah, you did mention a reaction wheel. You know, I kind of want to try putting all this stuff just on this guy without put mini thrusters to flip. Lander legs on the top and extend them if it flips. Or RCS thrusters. A couple different ideas there. I think I actually want to try doing all the different science things separately on here. I swear sometimes this won't snap and it drives me crazy.
Why won't you snap where the little balls are touching each other? Touch your balls. What is wrong with you? Why, why will the ball parts not touch each other? I don't understand. Hold alt. Hashtag no homo, that's right. It's not, it won't snap on there. I don't, I don't understand the snapping on this freaking ass game, man. Hold alt to make it snap and rotate it. Okay, I guess, but that's not, that's not what I want it to snap to. That's not what I want it to do. I want it to do that. I don't know why it didn't do that at first. Oh my God. Touch your balls, so glad you're not talking through your mic, yes. Okay, so there's that. Um, we'll want the barometer. Uh, you know what, I should probably just put a bunch of this stuff on the side. Barometer. Thermometer. Uh, I had it rotated so it was sideways. Well, I was hitting the rotate button and it just wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. Okay. Um, okay, got barometer. Surface scanning module. Okay. I'm just going to attach a bunch of these things to it. So survey scanner wouldn't do anything good. Good here. Capturing and measuring the elusive negative gravioli particle used for determining the precise strength of gravitational fields. Does this work on a planet or on Minmus? I guess I'll just put it there because it's another new thing. Okay. Firm surface. Use the backside of the science junior, you can get there easier. The backside. Talking about this side of it. Okay, I'll grab Yoli works on the surface. Okay. Uh, this uh, only works in an atmosphere, so. You know what? I'm still going to put it on here because if I use this thing on. If I do a Duna lander, I can just load this thing. Gravioli detector is worth like 60 science per scan. It's insanely good. Cool. I have no idea what this thing does. Put it on there because it's in the science tab. Mystery goo. Okay. Mystery goo. And then this guy is the one that's got to be out in space. So there's a survey scanner. Computer flight unit. I feel like that doesn't do us any good. Okay, that should be everything, I think, for science on this guy. Unless I want to put a mobile processing lab. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. It's for Kerbal Engineer to activate. It's your mod part from Kerbal Engineering. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's that's kind of our mobile science-y thing here. Let's put our... Um, I can put a couple more batteries. Cause I'm sure we'll be using a lot of electric for all this stuff whenever we're running all this stuff. X... There. And then we just need solar panels. I feel like we're good on this thing. Although, if I do want to try to flip this, if it gets flipped over. And now a group for every science. How do I do that? What are... Oh, God. Making groups. How do you do groups? Action is an action group. Uh... Custom. How do you do this? Do I... Oh, God, I forget how to do this. This is so confusing. So, like, freaking unintuitive, the controls in this game. Click on the part. Okay. Log seismic data. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Observe mystery goo. Well, gravity data. That doesn't do anything. Run atmospheric analysis. Log temperature data. Log pressure data. And observe materials bay. Okay. 
So that would be our group action. Um, yeah, I'll test drive it. I still got to add other, I still got to add like uh, solar panels and stuff to it. I can get a ton of science for free if I just drive it around. Okay, we should do that. Okay, and then how, can't you like assign this to a, a button or something? Is that what custom, if I hit one, it'll just do all those things? Okay. Yeah, I'll get the solar panels. I, I feel like I've done this before. Thank you, uh, Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. I'm not going to do one for the reset. So we're just going to do that. Call that good. Okay. Okay. So let's do solar panels on here. Electrical. If I just do like a couple solar panels like this. Thank you for the and Horvald the Richard. Horvald Richard. Horvald Richard. I don't know. I see your name. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to stream. Yeah, I'll see you to get rid of that. It's fine. Okay. Um, let's test this. And by test it, we're going to like go get science around our thing here. Um. And our engineer's on it because he needs practice driving. Okay. Let's try driving this thing and getting all the science. Oh, my scientist. So I can reset the science. Yep. That's right. My bad. Immediately revert to launch. I immediately regret this decision. Revert flight to assembly. I wonder if they'll be able to do it while sitting in the seat, actually. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Uh, X and scientist. Two command chairs is probably a good idea, too. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Man, there's too many things I want to do. I want to get a, you know, a drilling and fuel station set up. I want to drive around and get science. Just too many things to do. Okay, so if I just hit one right now, oh, okay, all right, just got a bunch of science, not bad, and now, can I reset them all? I can, cool, uh, do I have to collect them is the thing, or do I just automatically collect them? There's only those two I need to reset. Doesn't look like I'm having to collect it. I wonder if since I'm just at my space station if it doesn't make me have to recollect it or whatever. Uh, only, the, only the goo and the uh, science junior, okay. All right, so we got launch pad science. And you don't need to collect it, beautiful, that's nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this feels more stable. It's not falling over as much. Maybe because I'm not driving as fast. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Holy crap, that's some really sharp turns. <laughs> it goes to the Kerbal. Okay, so the Kerbal's got all the science. So I'll need to do a recovery to get access to all the science, I assume. Okay. Okay, break it. And then if I hit one, do I get new science? Cool, man. We are getting a bunch of free science. That's awesome. Reset. Reset. Okay. And I assume I need to do this at every single building or whatever. This is what, mission control over here? We're rich. Rich in science, I tell ya. I tells ya. Uh, all biomes on the Space Center are the launch pad, the driveway for launch pad to VHB, 
The VHP. Oh, wow. Did I, did I, did I miss one? Science here is worth so much less than what you get in space. Sure. Yeah. It looks like I'm just getting the goo and am I, am I not getting, maybe that I'm not getting different. Yeah, I guess it's the same scans, temperature scans and stuff. Okay, did I run those twice? I didn't mean to. Reset. Reset. Don't forget EVA and surface. Okay, EVA report. Uh, let's break this thing. So how do you... Do I tell the EVA... I don't think I can EVA. How do I get surface samples? Oh, leave seat. <laughs> oh, and now he's like all out of it. Take surface sample. Okay. You already do that? Okay, it's fine. Okay. Now, how do I get back in my seat is the question. Can I get back in my seat? Uh, trying to see, you need a ladder? Oh my God. Do I have to do a recovery? Can I not get back up to this thing? Cause I don't have a ladder board. Cannot board while not standing still. Got it. Okay. All right. Thankfully I didn't need a ladder. So after I have to right click on the seat and it lets me board. We don't need ladders where we're going. <laughs> yeah, we got it. I had to right click the seat. We got there. Man, this thing can freaking go, man. I'm gonna see if there's a, uh, if, if the uh, landing strip has got different science and stuff on it. Okay, let's break it. One. Nice. Okay. It's not a lot of science, but it's basically free. And I, it's good to just get this, all this stuff done. So I don't have to do it again. And I don't know, actually, I guess I could have, I could have put the brakes on the thing because it's uh, considered a probe. If you want the turning more gentle, you can disable steering on all but the front wheels. That might not be a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, I might try that. <laughs> let's let's experiment with that. Observe mystery goo. Whoops. Uh, one. There we go. Reset. Reset. Let's see how that works if I disable steering. Um. How do I do that? Tracks can control, reduce the steering angle. I don't know how to do that. Where is the way to do this thing? Comedic timing is on point. Okay. <laughs> I love how not flat the landing strip is when all the ground around it is perfectly smooth. How do you, I mean, I see brakes, I see traction control. Is it traction control? Oh, steering. Thank you. Steering. Steering disabled. Okay. So steering's enabled only on the front. Let's see what this feels like. Yeah, that's definitely better. Definitely better there. Okay. It's kind of crazy that I haven't just haven't explored the outside of my Kerbal Space, uh, the actual space uh, station or whatever it's called, Control Central. Okay. Okay, reset, reset. What the runway specifically designed to not be flat so that I can make sure it can take off from anywhere. Hmm. Okay, that's turning is not quite what I feel like it should be, but okay. Okay. All righty, after we get all the science, we're gonna decide what our next mission is gonna be. Are we gonna go to Minmus with this guy and start drilling? And allow for science and stuff, or are we going to try to land on Duna? 
fact, I'd like to do both today. I don't know if I'll have time to do both, but it'd be nice if I could do both. Probably I should do the fuel station set up first because that way we can actually um, get fuel for other missions as we go further out. Okay, so I think this one's the last one over here. Thought you could change the steering angle. Maybe that was space engineers. I know, maybe there's a way and I just don't know. <laughs> uh, I love driving this thing around, man. This rover's awesome. I think the runway is the least flat thing in all of KSP. <laughs> the runway is the least flat area. The place we need it to be the, the flattest. R&D. R&D. I feel like I might have missed one area if you said there is a place between the launch pad and the vehicle construction bay, whatever it's called. You played too many games, they get mixed up in your head. Uh, let me see if I've gotten this one. Break. Okay. I think I have done this one, but we'll get it again anyway. Uh, do the polar orbit satellite. Oh, for the fuel station setup, do the polar orbital, orbital satellite first. If you want a real challenge, set up a base on Gilly. I don't know where Gilly is, and I've probably not been there. Have I done this place? What is this place? What is this old rundown place doing in the middle of my futuristic space station? Oh, is this the tracking center? This is the tracking center, isn't it? I don't think I did the tracking center, actually. It's a tiny move of Eve. Yeah, I've definitely not. I've not even been to Eve yet. It sort of looks like a tractor. Hey, it's doing what it needs to do, man. And it feels, feels pretty stable, I gotta say. Definitely doesn't feel too bad. All right, let me get the little um, landing strip between the vehicle center and there because I feel like uh, BJA said that might be a place that's got some science too. Do another minimus base with two drills and one converter. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I get any stuff here. Crawler way. Okay, that does seem like different. Okay, I think we got everything. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Steve Harin, thank you so much for follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Recover vessel. Three, get a fuel tanker rover to Minmus with clamps. Fuel tanker rover. Okay. So it sounds like there's going to be a couple things I need to do. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, the first thing I'm going to need to do is set up a satellite that's polar orbiting to get the, to find out where stuff is. Set the refueling station in orbit. Okay. If your astronaut first is going to reach escape velocity, <laughs> Gilly is only 30 MS to land. Okay. Um, so it seems like I wouldn't want to take this rover for my first mission because I'm just going to set up the satellite first. So if I just do a quick mission to set up uh, the satellite with the... Uh, actually, I can do a similar thing to what I just launched. If I use... Uh, what did I just... Satellite deployment? What does this look like? Oh, that's that's got a bunch of satellites on it. I don't need that. What was the one I just did? It was like Minmus docking or something. No, it was a moon docking ship. Train to do the delivery from Minmus to the station. Hmm. Who names a planet Gilly? I mean, what's what's next? Golly? <laughs> okay. So, um... This would basically work. I could probably even leave the clamp on there. I just need to add... The, uh... The whatchamacall, the satellite that's going to, or the, the, whatchamacallit, 
this guy, the survey scanner. So if I just add a survey scanner to this, this would be what I need it to be, I believe. So can I just add a survey scanner in here? Uh, maybe instead of the clamp, I put the survey scanner on there. I feel like I want to have the clamp so I could dock with this. But if I just replace this, that's probably probably fine. Can I do that? Sticks out a little bit. So if I like change, if I change the shell, I think we could just make this work. Um, I want to actually line that line this up better too. Oh gosh, this thing is not doesn't look very centered thing here. Okay. Yeah, so I think this will work. Um, let me get the... Where is it? Payload. Protect shell. On the bottom of this guy. There we go. There we go. There, I think that will work. So this we just set up a, in a polar orbit, and it'll tell me when I'm in an orbit that'll work when I have the scanner uh, open, I guess. You'll may refrain from making jokes about docking. Okay. I'm still trying to think if I want to have a clamp, or maybe... Um, will I ever want to dock with this thing? I shouldn't, because this is just going to be used to get scans. So I shouldn't ever need to dock with this thing. So I think we're going to keep that. Um, I don't even need to save this. So hopefully this will be a quick mission. Uh, hopefully my launch will go better. And we're going to Minmus with this. And we need to get into Minmus. Um, eh, I guess I'll just save this. I wonder if I should see if there's a thing for getting another Minmus thing in orbit. Probably not. Alrighty, let's launch to Minmus. Set this as a uh, as a uh, polar orbit. I assume when you're saying refraining from making docking jokes, you mean giggity giggity type docking jokes, eh? Okay, SAS. Alrighty. Oh, God. Revert flight to vehicle assembly. I need to save this sub-assembly with struts. It's only for the scan and to be a comm relay, so no docking needed. Yeah. I just, I just need to... Let me real quick. Let me save this. Let me do new. Let me save. Let me fix my subassembly as having struts because it's really annoying that I have to redo this every time. So there. Auto strut. Auto strut. Okay, that should fix it. Now let me save this as my big exit rocket. Big exit. Rocket. I don't want to have to do this every time. Override it. Okay, there we go. Now, open our moon docking ship. Here. Okay, you should be strutted, right? Thank you. Okay. Did auto struts ever get good? I don't know. Just explodes on launch pad tax dollars at work. <laughs> That's right. Uh. Well, I said before, I don't really care about the money I'm spending. Money is no object. I am that guy who owns Tesla in this game. Whatever his name is that I can never remember. All right, here we go. We ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Three, two, one. Launch it. Auto struts seem good to me, Zach Dog. All right, I'm going to slowly tilt over and hope we don't tilt too far. Let's 
try to get a better launch here. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Jesus. Revert flight to launch. I just, I can't turn. I, I feel like these rockets are so strong, I can't turn as early as I want to here. Don't get tilted. Well, you want to get tilted. But uh, not in the video game type of tilted. Okay. SAS. I almost wonder if it'd be better if I just don't use my joystick for launch. Draka too strong, too long. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Wait till 10K to rotate over. Okay. Well, who was it? It was Desert Eagle who said he likes to start tilting at 100 ms. We hit at 100 ms in like freaking 100 meters, man. These rockets are so freaking strong. I just can't try to tilt that early. Okay. Okay, don't. And then it goes so far. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I don't understand why this thing is so hard to control. I just when I turn it, it just goes like immediately. I can't I I can't keep this thing from tilting so so Abruptly, man. I don't understand it. You're driving me crazy. Maybe I do need... I might need to limit the thrust. You might be right. I might try that after this. If, if, I, if I don't get a good launch this time, I might try uh, limiting the thrusters. Start a bit slower. You're talking about the turn slower. I might try to turn the turn slower too. It's just as soon as it's like a chain reaction. As soon as I start turning a little bit, it kind of goes on its own, and it kind of goes back. Part of this, I think, is because I'm using a joystick. Okay. See, see, uh, I'm I'm going left full here, and it won't. Jesus Christ. Okay. No, don't load a save. That's not what I want to do. Do you have RCS on your main lift stage? Uh, I don't have RCS, no. When you get through thick atmosphere, you can easily maneuver with it. Let me, let me limit the thrusters here. Let me do all of these down to like, I don't know, 75%-ish. Yeah. Do every single one of these guys 75%. I just feel like these rockets are too powerful. Or something, I don't know. Come on. There we go. If you're all interested in seeing the great Rand play an RPG this Friday, that's right. This Friday is the uh, Shogi's... Horizons unknown for anybody who's interested. Okay. All right. Let's see if 75% thrust makes us have a little better control here. So you think I should actually have RCS on my main thruster stage? I've only ever used RCS for like... Ah, uh, like space maneuvers. Are those mainsail engines? Yes, I think they're the biggest engines I have. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to slowly turn. I... Okay, come on. I want to be at like 90 degrees by now. But I don't want to go too far. Okay. It's definitely better. Okay, don't go too far. Don't go too far. Come on. 
Come on. Just gotta finagle it. Okay, now we want to get over to the to the horizon here. Because we got our apple apses high enough. Okay. So I might want to lay off the thrust and then wait till we get to the apoapsis now, I think. I think that's what we do now. Once we're approaching the apoapsis, then we go towards the horizon to try to circularize, I think is what we need to do. Second you break atmosphere, all your kerbals die because someone left a hatch open. Speaking of, I don't have any kerbals on this. Uh, do I? I don't have any kerbals. What's in charge of this thing? Okay, I have a okay, I have an unmanned satellite. You saying Kerbals reminded me, holy crap, I didn't put a pilot or anything on this thing, but that's actually good. RC is kind of bad inside of nearly any atmosphere. Yeah, I didn't think um, RCS is something I want to use for launch. <clears throat> for when I use them, I keep the flow rate 100, but throttle at a little over two-thirds throttle. Flow rate at 100. Flow rate. I don't know what flow rate is. <laughs> Alrighty, so as we're approaching the apoapsis, I'm going to um, burn towards the horizon, I think, to try to circularize. But yes, as uh, Shogi was just... Um, hey, what's up? Oh, wait. As uh, as Shogi was just advertising, this Friday over on Mr. Shogi 3000 stream, we will be playing his uh, tabletop RPG that's actually set... Not in space, but in kind of a futuristic thing. So if anybody's interested in that, you can come check that out. Throttle limiter. Okay. You don't need a Kerbal on this, else you would need a <laughs> step 1.5 risk of the satellite Kerbal, right? Okay. All right. I'm going to start burning soon. I'm going to burn a little bit so I can turn the direction I want to turn. Okay. Here we go. So let's go full throttle. 30 seconds to apoapsis. And look if we can circularize this orbit here. I actually think... I can't tell... Yeah, I thought I was out of fuel for that. those guys, so I can drop those off. Okay. What channel is Tabletop on? Uh, Mr. Shogi 3000. It's over on his channel. So give that man a follow if you want to check that out. I feel like my periapsis is not moving like it's supposed to be. This is why I don't like to do this burn at apoapsis, because it never seems to do what I want it to do. The Kerbal could just hang out in the satellite. Because if I'm not in orbit, I want to keep it in the blue, I think. I mean, it perhaps is going, but it's slow. Too slow, but we'll be fast soon. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe this will work. This is why I don't like to shut my rocket off or kill my throttle right after we break the atmosphere. I just don't like doing that because I feel like we lose so much speed or momentum or whatever. We need a we need a curveball with a negative stupidity index. Okay. All right. Actually, it looks like we might be fine. Okay. Actually, it's looking pretty darn good. Okay. All right. There we are. Okay. All right. We did it. Okay. And how's our how's our fuel? Okay. That was actually great. Uh, and now we're flying fast, but we got there. Okay. So now we need to get to Minmus, which is the further moon over here. Okay, and so if I want to get an orbit around Minmus and I want it to be a polar orbit, do I want to actually approach it above the planet, above the uh, moon? What if a random piece of space junk just comes around and hits you? That would be, the odds for that happening would be very low, I think. Actually, you're supposed to match the, whoops, set his target. I need to match the uh, tilt first, don't I? Quick save, sure. I need to match the tilt, because, yeah, that's six degree. Okay, we need to definitely do a, a maneuver here. 
because this tilt or this axis is on a very steep incline or whatever. Okay. They do keep track of your discarded stages in old satellites. Yeah, they do. And I have one around the moon that's like a almost full tank of gas. Well, not full tank of gas, but it's got a bunch of fuel in it from our previous launch. Okay, so let's match that tilt. Where is it? Oh, apparently I... What? There it is. That's what I want right there. Okay. All right, warp to next maneuver. KSP has space junk. Is it space junk that you don't launch yourself? Is it like stuff that other companies in the game launch? Sometimes you see debris coming at you and it gets real it gets you real wor worried. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the people that I've watched play this game play almost completely in this view right here. They, like, don't do any of their maneuvers where they actually are looking at their rocket. So, oh, I should get rid of this. Deploy that guy, and I need to get my solar panels so I don't run out of electric like I always like to do, apparently. Okay, I'm going to have to finish deploying those after this maneuver. Five, four, three, two, one. Burn. Three, two, one. Oh, I overshot it just a touch. Uh, point one. I think point one is probably fine. It's like that shitty movie called Gravity. <laughs> okay, let me get all my uh, solar panels deployed here. Uh, did I get them all already? Nope, missed you. And missed you. There's more space junk. There it goes, more space junk. Luckily, fairing is one of the things the KSP just forgets about. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> I would hate to have to avoid fairing junk. Okay, so now I need a collision course for Minmus. Okay, so I need to do a maneuver somewhere around here. Burning at prograde, I believe. I wish I had more control how the camera was uh, oriented. Because when I have it set on Minmus Focus, I still want to be able to zoom into my freaking node so I have control over it. But that's kind of frustrating as hell. Okay. That is Curb and Escape. I'm looking for Minmus. Uh, approach here. There we go. Minmus encounter. I think we'll call that good enough when we can do a, more of a correction once I get that to happen. Warp to next maneuver. Okay. Quick save again. Well, I can tell that my uh, my sub assembly, that's my big exit rocket, works well because I always have always have a whole bunch of DV left after we get off the planet. So I feel like that's a good thing. It just means I'm over engineering, spending more money than I need to, but I'm fine with that. Just tug on the rocket will literally pull him back if he pulled with a very small amount of force. That's how gravity works in space. Uh oh, are you talking about gravity? not being real life physics or something. Was that the one with Sandra Bullock? I'm trying to remember if I saw that movie. I, th I think I saw that one a while back. Okay. 
Okay. Wow, this is a 800 DV maneuver right here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and punch it. So I'm so glad I have this thing that lets us do our maneuver nodes and stuff. I don't have to manually do maneuvers anymore. Movie sucks because it ignored how gravity works. <laughs> the movie Gravity ignores how gravity works. That's funny. And that's Hollywood for you, though. That's why I like that YouTube channel, Because Science, because he applies, like, real-life science to a lot of movies and pop culture stuff. Three, two, one. Okay. How's that look? Do we have a Minmus periapsis? We do. Okay. So that should be good. Oh, yeah, my thrust is limited, isn't it? You know what? I think it's fine. I don't really care about fixing that. Um, what I probably could do is add a maneuver halfway there and get our periapsis a little closer. That's probably worth doing. So add a maneuver. And let's zoom in here so we can see how close we can get it. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a wow. That's almost in range of the high mountains. We'll take that. We'll take that. Okay, quick save. Uh, warp to cannot auto warp so far. Warp to next maneuver. There we go. That's true. Also, all the debris at the same altitude would have relatively similar velocity. Um, again, what? Oh, you're still talking about gravity. Oh, there's a moment in the movie where her friend is floating away and he has to detach the rope so he does not pull her with him. She could just pull the rope to solve the problem and pull them both back towards the station. <laughs> yeah, I vaguely remember that. I vaguely remember that. Was she still attached to the station when she, when, when there was that issue? God, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. I think she, I actually saw that on a movie with a person I was on a date with that night. And so I probably was not paying much attention to the science of the movie. Been a while, I don't remember. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay, I think we passed a little bit, but our periapsis is... Uh, what is it? It is us hitting the, <laughs> it's us hitting it. Okay, let's, let's burn it prograde just a bit to fix that. I have to make very, very small adjustments, I think, to when we're out this far. think this will fix it. Okay, that's perfect. We'll take that. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, can I now warp to here? Probably going to go rewatch the, the Everything Wrong With video on it. <laughs> Everything Wrong With The Gravity movie. That's funny. I should probably watch that. It'd be very fitting after playing all this Kerbal Space Program. Like, your rocket science is bad, and you should feel bad. All right, we're going to want to burn it retrograde when we get there. We're actually on a pretty good tilt already. We want, we want to tilt it more to get on a uh, polar... This is Minmus, right? Am I going to the right planet? Yes. Okay, good. It's hilarious. You never saw the movie, but you cracked up at the, uh, at the everything wrong with it video. That's funny. Okay, 28 minutes. Speed up time here. Three, 
13, 12, 11, 10. Let me do a quick save. Minmus isn't a planet. I know, I know, moon, whatever. It's a another body in space that's not our home planet. I should just call everything satellites because planets are technically satellites, right? Let's call them all satellites. Okay. Could probably start burning now, honestly, to just make an orbit happen. Quick save again just to make sure. I think this will work. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to see where this needs to be for it to work. Deploy scanner. Aren't moons just small planets? Yeah, I guess they're planets of the planets or like or something. So how do I see how this works? Perform orbital survey. Done. Science added. Gretchen to Okay, no, that's my thing. No, I did not mean to hit that. Actually, you know what? That's fine. I meant to hit M and I hit space and it staged that. It's fine. Oh, okay. I didn't have to do it on a polar orbit, though. Okay. So it already did what it needs to do. Is it because this thing is so small? I feel like I should still get this on a polar orbit, right? You thought I had, you had to be way more polar than that? Me too. It's never been that generous with you? Well... Let me let me get on a polar orbit just so I <laughs> I can feel like I didn't just get lucky with where we happen to be. Um let's um how do how do I do this? How do I how do I want to do this? For one thing, I think I want to burn a little bit more retrograde. How much DV? let me just make sure I have plenty of DV. I have plenty of DV. Save. There we go. Okay. Alright, good good circular orbit here. Um Minmus is diseased, and alright. Purple bits have more ore. So a lot of the ore is apparently Wow, we actually landed in some ore. Okay, so I need to get a Does it matter where you burn to get uh where you burn anti normal to spin your orbit does that matter is it better to do the apoapsis apoapsis or periapsis i don't know if that really matters is this the way i want to do this i think so Burn at equator. Okay, so that's the best place to do it. Where your orbit hits the equator. Okay, so that would be actually kind of about where our periapsis is almost. So right around here it looks like. No, I want to go this way since we're already tilted that direction. So if we do this. Let's use this guy. No, nah, wrong way. Get smaller increments, please. Uh, Bruno Motad, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. I want to keep this orbit from being too, like, crazy. I want to keep it circular, but just over the polar whatever's polar, polar ice caps or whatever you call them. I mean, this is this is probably fine, but I want to make it perfectly vertical. There. How's that look? Set Mimus' target hit. Ascending, descending nodes. 
Uh, yeah, actually, that might have been the best, but this this will work. This looks like this will work. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Warp to next maneuver. Maneuver. I mean, we've already done the scan. I just want this to be in as polar an orbit as I can get it. What if the moon had a moon? Would you call it the moon's moon? I think so. Okay. A moon can have a moon. A planet can have a moon. So a moon should be able to have a moon. Although, I doubt a moon would have a moon because if a moon had a moon, wouldn't the planet's gravity be so much greater that it would throw that moon into the planet's gravity well instead of the moon's gravity well? Handbrake, turn the satellite. Handbrake. You'd call it a stranded curveball. <laughs> Alrighty, once we get this set, then we can... Our next mission will be to set up mining on Minmus to get... Um, or to fuel mining station. Two, one, burn. Very nice. Okay, how does that orbit look? It looks great. All right. So I'm curious if I run this scan again, if it'll do... I mean, do you have to do this multiple times? Oh, it doesn't look like I can do that. What is resource? 5.81% average. Oh, what is this? Is this telling me what it looks like here? I don't know what all those settings are. That's cool looking, though, man. Okay. All right, guys. Well, real quick, I'm going to take my final break of the day. Uh, Stand up, stretch, use restroom. Thank you all so much for watching. Is anybody new to the stream, please hit the follow. Hope you guys are enjoying the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, next, we're going to go back and try to figure out how to make a like a mining station for to land on Minmus and get all that set up. So thanks again for all your help, guys. You guys are amazing. I'll be back in just a second, my friends. Gotta go, uh, DF Cats. All right, we'll see you later, my friend. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's go back to Space Center here. A whole lot of iridium. Is that is that what is that what the material is in this game? The ore. I don't actually know what the ore is called. So I got to figure out what we want to do here. It sounded like we need to do something like have a vehicle that can mine the ore process it from ore into fuel and then store it in a tank i think is what you're supposed to do okay um do you want to do something like a rover for that or do you want like a rocket that can kind of fly around 
the planet. I almost wonder if if it's something to do if you want to do more of like a space plane for that. Not that I've had much luck landing planes. The one time I made a an actual jet plane. Um, I almost feel like I want to do something similar to my rover for this. Just maybe make a, a larger rover or something. You're just saying that because uh, Borderlands has a purple mer mineral. Ah, okay, I got you. You do a big base thing like your science base? Okay. But you need to be able to move that, right? Because do you, like, use up the ore? Or can you just plant it, and plant it in an area and it gets gets all the ore from there. Um, lander can. trying to decide how, how I want to put something like this. So you do a big base like your science base. You think the ore is infinite, but you're not 100% sure? Okay. So it sounds like I just need to set it up, this base, in one place, huh? Convertitron, how big are you? Okay. So, can I... Well, we probably... We need to be able to dock with this thing, because once we get the fuel, we're going to need to be able to make the fuel get to some place where we can use it. Imagine if you could just move planets. That would be badass, yeah. You can right-click on the Mark II lander and make it skinnier. Skinnier. I don't know what you mean by skinnier. Variant down at the bottom. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, lander and rover. Okay. Okay. Cool. I know there are variants like that. Okay, I'm trying to think how would we want to set this up. I actually think I want the other variant, the round one. Just because of the way it looks. So if we did a lander there. And what does this look like deployed? Does it matter how high up this thing? Will it just go down as far as it needs to be? Or will I need to have this touching ground in ore tank? Okay, I need to figure out all the stuff we need. So we need we have a drill matic we have a convertitron. It needs a touch, okay. Payload? Is that under payload? No. So an ore tank. I don't see that there. Coupling, structural, fuselage. It's with the fuel tanks? Okay. Small holding tank. Radial holding tank. Or 75 or 300. Okay. Alright, so this looks like the biggest one. What's the way to make it turn the other direction? There, like that. Is it not going to snap on there? We're going to have more things that don't want to snap like I want them to snap. You don't need a super big one if you're going to be immediately converting it to fuel. Oh, okay. So I could use, like... I could use like two of these radial ones, maybe. Or I just do something like that. Preferably a radiator 
Stop it overheating and an engineer makes it more efficient. Yeah, I plan on having an engineer on this thing. However, I'm going to make this work. What is a radiator? Do I have a radiator? Uh, will that be under thermal? A thermal control system? Ah, radiator panel. Okay. Okay. Where would I put that? Is that on the Convertitron? I don't know what I'm attaching this to. What am I keeping from overheating? The drill itself? The storage? The Convertitron? Need to make sure weight is symmetrical? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that once I figure out what all I need to put on this thing. Only cool things they're attached to and they're right next to. Thermal control system cools everything. Near the drills and the converter. Okay. Like that. Do I need this to like go all around this thing? I mean, do I want a bunch of these on here? Like radiating like this? <laughs> I don't know if that's what I want. I mean, I don't know if it's better. It's like the more radiators, the better, or what? Is this like a deployable thing? Activate, shut down. Okay. How many of these do I need? I don't. Twenty-five hundred max temperature, tolerance fifty G's. Uses one point five electric charge a minute, though. They take electricity to run. Yeah. Um. Does it tell me on the drill how much heat it produces? This uses 7.5 electric a second. Required cooling 100 kilowatts, okay. And required cooling 200 kilowatts. So I need at least 300 kilowatts of cooling, as it looks like, okay. And this does 50 kilowatts. So I need like six of these, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I should have just done those max on there. This looks so funky here. I feel like I really need to have a different setup here. I don't think I have RTGs yet. I don't know what those are. I don't think I have them yet. If I put that on top, that will be better. Uh, that would be under electrical RTGs. Yeah, I think I only have solar panels. I wonder if that's something I need to look into uh, um, getting. They give you free power. How are they going to get in and out of this thing? I guess this little side thing is a way for them to get out, I believe. Man, I don't know how to fit all the coolant I need for these things. Unless I uh, do some sort of payload. Can I put like just a bunch of coolant things in here. It sounds like you said they need to be attached to these guys though. So I don't know if I can do something like that. If I need to actually do Oh wait, this does 200 kilowatts. Oh, that's much better. Okay, large panels will be, be better. So if I do two of these, that'll be 400. That should actually be enough. Oh, wait, no, I want to do rotate tool, not that. Things are so funky the way they look. I don't know how to make them... attach the way I want them to. Use the edge panels. So 
I did like three of these, that should be more than enough heating, uh, heat coolant or whatever. Why do these just... Okay, is that going on the side of this thing? The hell? How wonky is the center of mass? Uh, it's a little off to the side because of the drill. Maybe add a satellite to the other side or uh, solar panels to even it out or something. Put the little payload back on top of the Convertitron. Do this up there, you think? I don't know if I what I'm going to use this for. I guess I would use this for batteries. I mean, we're going to need a rocket underneath this thing, I think. Um, are we going to need a satellite for this? Why do these panels look so dumb to me? Can I can I activate? Are they supposed to like be on the side like that? That looks so dumb. Let me see if I can rotate this. I don't I don't know if I'm going to make these not look dumb to me anyway. Try the TCS. I have no idea what that is. That edge panel just lets you add more. Okay. Um. If I do that, that should be enough heat coolant. Thermal control system. Active radiator. Okay, that one looks more like what I would expect. Okay, I think I like the way that looks better. Let me see how this will affect weight. So if I do this guy, if I do two of these, that will be plenty of coolant for what I need. As long as it's, it's, it's attached like it's supposed to. Okay, what about that? That looks better to me. Less ridiculous. Is this a deploy thing? Oh, okay. That does look better. Okay. I like that better. Uh, center of mass is still a little off to the side, but I feel like with this drill, it's always going to be that way. So I need to balance it by, like, putting... Um, I wonder... Here, this is going to be our... Mining... Drill... Mark one. I wonder if I can get those, uh, how much, how much science it takes to get those, uh, what do you call them? RCS? No. Whatever the thing is that gives you free power. Probably not. 262 is probably not nearly enough. Solar array, fuel cell, specialized electrics. Radiostopic thermoelectric generator. Is it this thing? Radio isotope. It's probably that thing, and I need a lot of science for that. I need like 1800 or something like that. Okay. Yeah, can't do any of that. Landing legs. Well, I need to put an, a, a rocket, and I need to put electricity and a lot of other stuff on this, so I'm long, long from putting legs on this thing. Okay. Retract the drill. I wonder if it's uh, less off-center when the drill is retracted. Looks like it's still off to the side. So if I do... Man, how much energy is all this stuff going to take? I'm going to need so many solar panels. I feel like I just need, may need a ton of solar panels up here and a bunch of batteries. Um... And I might want to ha have the ability for this thing to be unmanned. So if I do like a... Little guy in here. And... What else? I wanted to do a... Uh, command and control. This guy... Do that guy. That'll be our help with land, uh, with driving thing. I wonder if command pods are heavier the more curveballs are in it. I don't know. 
We probably want to put RCS on these guys too. On this thing. Instead of the service bay, put an empty fuel tank. But I actually do want to put stuff in here like batteries and stuff. If I put an empty fuel tank on top of this, is that where the fuel would go? Like that. If I do that, will the fuel go up there? Will it convert this ore into fuel and go up there, I guess? Okay. Um, okay, so let's put... I want to put... I want to put a bunch of batteries. Basically as many batteries as I can fit in here. With all the electric we're going to be using. So my best battery... Is this guy. Empty it though? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So, an empty fuel tank. Oh, so it's such a pain to connect in here. I just don't understand why the batteries don't want to go there. Although I want it synergy, so I have them on the other side too. Well, I say I want to get a bunch of batteries, and I can fit all all of two in there. Um, what if I do batteries on the bottom and top? I feel like this thing is just going to use tons of power, so. I feel like we just want a ton of batteries, and I'm gonna need solar panels like crazy too. You gotta go to bed now. All right, we'll see you later, Mr. Lad. Have a great night. Okay. 1.6 a second. 2.8 a second. Okay. So these ones actually give more uh, stuff. You just can't retract them. If I just do a bunch of these guys around, this might be the best way to get a bunch of power. Will that work if they're not able to move around? You need them to face up, though. Uh, okay. So I basically could only get like a couple up on top of here is what it sounds like. Kind of like that. I could put the deployable ones on the side, I guess. Okay. I wonder how many I could fit here. And then get like two more in the middle. They slightly overlap, but I feel like this doesn't look terrible. That actually kind of looks like solar panels I've seen in real life. <laughs> uh, the one by six will probably be able to reach out further. And then just get all the solar panels I can get here. Like that. Hopefully that'll give me enough power for all of this stuff. I think I like that. Okay, so how does this look for a base that's going to get me ore? It's going to convert it and store it in this fuel tank. Now the question is, how, how am I going to get this? I, I would assume I would need to have some sort of ship that's got a grabber that can grab onto this. We transfer the fuel out. So, we need to put a rocket on the bottom of this thing and a lander. Basically, we need to land this thing. You can also add fuel cells. Okay. I need to see how 
I can't go much further down than this if I want the this guy to be able to reach. So I need like the smallest fuel cell, uh, fuel tank, this guy here, and then a rocket and then landing gear, I think. Like that. Fuel cells convert fuel to energy in case the sun isn't out. Okay, fuel cells. I'll see if I, I have some of those to add. Okay, so let's put some landing gear on this and see what we think of this being our drill setup. Doesn't seem too bad. I feel like that might work. What do you guys think? I would recommend having a fuel truck lander, one that has a claw that can drive up to this thing and attach. Take the fuel out, then drive up to a nearby rocket to unload. Okay, that sounds like a good way to set that up. Okay, I feel like that should work. Um, you said I should add some fuel cells to this. What is a fuel cell? Uh, is that a solar thing? Electrical? I don't know if I have fuel cells. Is that under fuel tanks? I'm on a propellant tank. Yeah, I don't think I have fuel cells yet. Um, is there anything I'm missing from this? Do I need a radar on this? I might want to put a radar on this in case... I'm probably going to want to keep an engineer with this, but in case I ever send my engineer off... I might want to have a radar just in case. I have I have like a bunch of satellites around. So if I just put like a small radar, it probably wouldn't hurt, right? What would be the smallest radar? Like this might be a place where a direct radar would be fine, right? Because a direct radar uh, doesn't need to relay anything. So if I just put this communitron on here, would this let me communicate with? Yeah, so this one unfolds. Uh, I guess if I just put this on the side here. My batteries are sticking out, by the way. So this one deploys. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I don't want my battery sticking out. It looks funky. You. Get inside where you're protected, sir. There we go. Oh, crap. Nope. Okay, close. Let me just move this guy so he's centered. Uh, actually, I need to rotate you. Okay, that's not bad. We'll go with that. You can put it in the bay, too. <sighs> I don't like having it in the bay and it, like, clipping through things. I try to do as little clipping as I can, even though these batteries kind of clip and these kind of clip a little bit. I don't like it to clip too much because that just looks dumb to me. I feel like this is going to be fine because we're going to have a fairing. And once it deploys, that looks pretty good to me. Whoops. Uh, close. Oh, come on. Close this guy. Okay. I think that'll work. We're, we're going to have a fairing around this whole thing anyway uh, for liftoff. Okay. I think our mining, our drill is set. We're going to have a an engineer in here. Uh, I don't want the pilot to be in here, right? All I want is an engineer. This is basically just for the engineer to be up there. I'm not going to worry about getting science or anything like that. Move the legs lower, you think? My engine is lower than the legs. They're about even. They're very close. I'll move them down a little bit, but I don't want them to be too far... 
I want the engine and the legs to be pretty close to uh, the ground. The legs will ret retract a lot with the weight. Oh, okay. Well, the lowest I can get them is like right there. I guess I can move them down a little bit. I guess I'll go that far. I don't also don't want to go too far so that we make sure. No, we got plenty of clearance there. Okay. Okay. I feel like that's pretty good. We got solar panels. We got batteries. We got heat thingies. We got storage for that. We got converter. We got a fuel thing. So, in order to actually get fuel, you try launching on the platform and running everything. Okay, let's try that. Save. Before I add things like um, the rocket to get it there and all that. It's always a good plan. Test everything. I sometimes don't do that. Unless it's a rover, then I drive it around way more than I should. Okay. Extend. Extend. Damn it. I wish... I, I think I want to make all these solar panels be an action group, but whatever. Okay. Extend this guy. Deploy drill. It's night. It's fine. I'm going to just revert anyway. Okay. So the drill. Start service harvesting. Hey. Okay. Core temperature. Okay. Okay. So it looks like it's working. The electricity is using a lot of electricity and we have no solar. So I guess we need to see if we have enough energy by going to daytime, right? If I just retract drill. Uh... I, I can just speed up time till it's day, right? Turn on the converters. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Uh, so I have to choose what it turns it into? Uh, wow. So was it liquid fuel that we'd want to do? And is it going to be putting fuel in here? Oh, okay. Wow, that's cool. You can do both? Oh, okay, you can do both. But it's not doing both. Missing ore, okay. Oh, because I retracted this guy. Okay, I got you. Um, let's make a day so we can actually have solar panels. I need to check if power-wise we have enough solar panels for it to be running all the time, I feel like. Topmost item is LF plus OX. Ah, there we go. That's what we want. Okay. So let me just uh, speed up time here. So we can get day. There we go. Electric charge. So now let's run the drill and see if we have enough power for it. It's an awesome base. You like it? <laughs> it looks pretty sweet to me. Start service harvesting. Okay. Electric charge. So it looks like it's using more charge than we are providing. But it is creating fuel. I mean, so I guess it would run until it runs out of power, then a recharge. I wonder if I can add more, more solar panels. Um, how would I add more solar panels? I need to be careful because I'm going to need to clamp onto this thing to get fuel, but I could probably clamp onto like over this area to pull fuel. Um, I wonder if I could put... Can you put solar panels around? I might be able to put some around this guy. Okay. Drive a train up to it, kind of like a rover that's long, just has a ton of solar on top. 
drive a train to it. That's true. I don't want to have to do a second base for this. I'd like this to be self-sustaining is what I'd like it to do. Uh, let's let's recover or just revert. Yeah, it's revert flight to uh, assembly. Because if I can if I can make this thing self-sustaining, then I don't need to add anything else onto it. I just drive up to it, get the fuel when I when I need to do that, and all that kind of stuff. Let me see solar panels. If I can get more of these guys here and then move them down so they don't impinge on that guy opening. Why are they curved that way? That's weird. There we go. One more way to try to make it have more surface area around the bottom tank. You can add four tanks ready like a four leaf clover. Yeah, yeah, we've done I've done a setup like that before. I could do that. And add the legs down to the clover, yeah. Um well I had a lander like that before. That looks pretty sweet though. Um let's calculate how much energy I need. Is there is there like a thing that shows how much stuff this needs? Uh Engineer report. I wish it would show like electricity used by each thing. Because I have to like look at them each individually, I think. Ships are starting to look pretty cool. What am I looking for? I'm trying to see if this is enough solar panel power to let a drill and a converter run. Right click on each item in the parts list on the left. Yeah, I know I get 1.6 a second from those guys. I get 2.8 a second. I got to do a bunch of math if I can figure it out. I wish there's there's probably like a, there's probably a mod for this. There's a small version of the Convertitron and the Drill 2. Yeah, I kind of want to have the bigger version. Um Uh, parts may show what you need and what the panels give you, but yeah, math is needed. Um, okay, let's see here. So this is... Convertitron needs 30 electric charges a second. That's probably the most expensive thing. The drill is 7.5, so 37. All right, let's do some quick math. <laughs> let's do some math. So 37.5... Um, is that the only thing that's using power? So lander can just have passive power that it uses. Uh, it doesn't list anything. Uh, the thermal control system does. So I'm using, am I using the mediums? Yeah, I'm using the mediums, two of these guys, right? Yeah. So those guys each take... 0.1 a second. Okay, that's not bad. So that's another 0.2. So that's 37.7. And the satellite probably takes something. And the probe thing that I have in there. The radiators take hardly anything. Okay, so this little communicatron, communitron, what does that take? That takes 200 a second? Okay, that's only when it's transmitting, right? So, it's only when I'm transmitting that this needs anything. I don't, so I don't think that's going to be passively using anything, I hope. Fly-by-wire. Uh, 1.8 a minute. Okay, 1.8 a minute. What is that per second? Divided by 60 is like a fraction. 0.3 a second, something like that. So that makes like 38, maybe. Power is based on angle to direct light. Most of your panels will not get 100%. Okay. And then the Probo Dino. Probo Dino, this guy. 1.8 a minute. So another, what, like 0.3? 
So if I had 39 a second, I should have enough. Okay, so I need to figure out how much my solar panels do. Uh, electrical. So each of these guys does 2.9 a second, and I have... 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 6 of those. So 6 times 3 about. So that's about 18 a second. A little less than 18 a second. These guys are 1.6 a second, and I have... 12 or 8 8 times 2 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so I have 16 of those so 16 times 1.6 <laughs> oh my god Three, two. I feel like this will be enough I know it won't be maximum amount but I, I'm going to call that good I want to launch this thing and see if this thing is going to work so let's retract everything it'll be close okay so, this, we got to get this guy to Minmus and land it, is the thing. Is there anything else I need to add to this thing? I don't think there's anything else I need to add to this thing. So, I need a fairing and a decoupler for this guy. Uh, so, decoupler. Is that the right size? Yes. And then a fairing. Do I need a docking thing attached to this? I'm kind of I'm trying to decide if I should put an actual claw on this guy, but I don't think so. Hey, what's up, Julian Chow? How are you doing? Okay. Greetings from Hong Kong. Nice. Okay, so we got our engine there. And so I should have enough with my um, sub-assembly, I think, to get this there. So where is with my uh, big exit rocket? So if I just do this, I think this will get us to Minmus and get us to start mining. So... Let's save that. And let's give this a try. See if we can start mining some stuff. I have a satellite. Okay. This is crazy, man. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of steps to get freaking fuel mining going on a, another planet. Or moon. Whatever. How are you doing, Julian Chow? How is your Tuesday going? Let's hope my launch goes better than some of my other launches. Hopefully I didn't forget anything here. SAS. I didn't put a stabilizing thing on this guy. Am I okay with that? That might have been the other reason I was having a hard time driving the thing. Let me... Um, revert to assembly. Let me put one of those little spinny stabilizer things on this real fast. Where could I put that? Uh... If I just put it underneath here, if I if I drop it, that's, I'm not that worried about it. Because once we're in space, it's fine. What is that called? Command and control. Inline reaction wheel. Yeah, I think that will help. Okay. Okay, save that. Let's launch that. Why did it say my, I had so little DV? Did I screw something up here? Bigger question is how much power do you need to store if when you're on the dark side? It's true, and I have I put as many batteries as I could fit in the little storage thing. Um, so it was uh, two, four, six, like eight of the biggest batteries I could store. Two? Why does it say two hundred and sixty ms? What? Did I did I empty fuel of these guys? Or is it so heavy that I really have that little DV? I feel like something's funky here. This is probably not going to go well. Because I'm decoupling in my first stage. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay. Okay, uh, I need to add a stage here. 
my decouplers got thrown off. Actually, I need this stage. I need not that stage. I need a stage. Oh, God. This got all thrown off. Okay. So this needs to go. This needs to be here. Oh, Jesus. Why did that get all thrown off? I don't know why it did that. Okay. So these little guys need to be... Uh, okay. I need a stage in the middle here where... This decouples to right there with those guys. Is that right? Okay, so those engines are all firing there, and then where's the engine on the... Where's the big engine? Way the hell up there. Jeez. Okay. Okay, decouple those. Then decouple those. This stage is not needed. Okay, that should do it. We got tons of stuff. Wait, why does it say I have 3,000 DV here? Okay, okay. I think that's good. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> this could be bad. Didn't check my coupling. Always an issue. Okay, this should hopefully be right. It might not be right. Let's go. All right, so we're going to Minmus. We're going to start trying to get some frickin' stuff. Get some ores. Back when I played Elite Dangerous, farming ore from asteroids was actually one of the... Or mining ore from asteroids was one of the, the things I actually enjoyed doing the most. Okay, good. That staged correctly. Start very slightly turning. Not crazy amounts. I think with my reaction, inline reaction thing, I might have a better time turning. Because I don't think I had that on my previous one. The reaction wheel thingy. It's probably why one of the reasons I had such a hard time turning. Okay, my apoapsis is already super high. Okay. Oh god, I should just go ahead and turn this off now, I guess. Crap, I need to not get all out of line here. Come on, come on. Stay, stay in line here. Have it hold prograde. Let's see where our apoapsis is here. Our apoapsis is super high, so I'm just going to coast until we approach apoapsis and burn at the horizon. This was a very straight-up launch, but I think it should be fine. Yeah, let's just coast it. Uh, when we're about, like, uh, 30 seconds to apoapsis, I'll probably start burning towards the horizon. Yeah, I got plenty of DV for sure. It's still got this whole middle rocket's worth of fuel here. DV, whatever. Okay, so let's uh, speed it up here. I might have to revert this launch, but this will probably be okay. 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 And I'm going to turn it off prograde once prograde goes below the horizon, I think. You start burning now? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's hope we can save this. Hey, what's up, Alteriga? How are you doing? Hopefully not venting yourself. Alright, this looks like this might be okay. You know what? I think I need to stage. Yep, I should have staged earlier. I was holding a lot of weight I didn't need to hold. Just woke up. I hope it's early morning for you because it's like uh, 4 in the afternoon for me. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we should be fine here.
You live like 45 minutes from me. <laughs> Do you work nights or something? Oh, that's right. You live up in Frisco or something, don't you? Okay, that makes sense. It's like, I mean, if you stay out and party all night, that's up to you. But my God, four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> makes much more sense if you work nights. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's a, that's a good orbit. We'll take that. All right. And now I can lose the fairing. Get all of our solar panels going. I have a lot of solar panels to, to deploy. So let's get these going now. Best way to get into a clean orbit is to watch time to AP. When AP is about five seconds ahead of you, start to burn and control thrust so that the AP stays at five seconds till you're in orbit. Interesting. So you adjust your thrust. That's I never tried to do it that way. Now we're in the we're in the dark side of the planet right now. Night side, I guess you say. Extend. And these are all symmetric. I don't know why they don't. Do you really have to do an action group, action group to make it so that all solar panels extend at the same time? It's kind of annoying. It's describing a gravity turn, and that's that's the best way to do it. Okay, I might have to try that next time. All right, so we want to get to Minmus now. Okay, so somewhere around actually where we're approaching, we'll probably want to do a maneuver. Okay. Okay, nope, I don't want a moon encounter. Okay, and that's too much. Oh, that's way too little. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we want to move this around a little bit. Uh, Hold on a second. Nope, nope, but wrong way, this way. Nope, damn it. I swear I get lag whenever it, it the orbit changes. There must be a lot of calculations happening when this goes on. God, it's so hard to... Is that giving me... Nope, that's moon encounter. Action groups suck, but it's the only way. Ah, it's annoying as hell. What was that green circle giving me? That is still a moon escape. So apparently I'm getting a moon encounter, but Minmus and the moon are lining up here, it seems like. Is there a Minmus encounter over here somewhere? Let me just delete this node. This is not doing what I want it to do. Idea of a gravity turn is that gravity will turn the rocket for you. The rocket slowly falls over on its side and use the engine power to determine how fast it's allowed to fall. That way you don't have to use the fins to turn the rocket. Interesting. Okay. You work up a Windstar. Oh, yeah, you told me that. You work up a Windstar. All right, we're going to just do a new node here back behind us. I was trying to get one before, before we were going to approach it, but this is fine. Okay. Skip the moon, please. Go, go by the moon. I don't want to go. I don't want to hit the moon. I guess we're still having a moon encounter here. We're actually slingshotting past the moon, it looks like. Okay, let's try that and rain this in here. Come on, give me my Minmus. Hey, oh, oh, I think I saw it. Minmus encounter. Okay, we'll go with that. It's probably coming back on the other side of it, but uh, 888 DV. We have plenty, so we'll go with that. Let's go with that. I don't want to kill myself trying to get the perfect thing here, so let's do warp to next maneuver. Okay. 
Does that mean the rocket continues to face prograde? Yep, I typically like to do 50 seconds to apoapsis if you've got a powerful enough rocket. Okay. And your and your your number that you watch is the time to apoapsis trying to keep that at five seconds the whole time. That's interesting. I might have to try that the next uh, next time we do a launch. Which we might do one more launch today, which would be setting up basing a basically we'd be setting up a fueling station around Minmus, I guess. Man, this Solar Ray looks cool from this side, from but over here it looks kind of terrifying. Like I got spikes coming off the top of my rocket here. You can get correct uh, I can correct on the way so I don't get the nasty moon interference. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Alright, get our electric charges filling up there. Okay. Bill Kerman, I hope your uh, Mr. Engineer guy is feeling confident in your piloting. Luckily, you're not having to do anything. It's kind of funny. I think this is the first time I've sent a Kerbal out without a pilot. Two, one, punch it. Engage. Kept wondering what these old dots are on here, and I realized they're the... Uh, radial decoupler things, I guess. Five, four, three, slow it down. Four, three, two. Okay. How did we do on that? Do I have, do I still have the encounter? I missed the encounter. Damn. Okay, well, let's do a correction up here. Minmus set his target. We'll add a maneuver up here that will hopefully fix it. Uh, give us the encounter. Retro bit, you believe? All right, I guess I can try just retroing now and see if it'll give me the encounter back. Uh, depends for you. If AP is ahead of me, I know I'm increasing my AP at the same time. Closer I am to AP, the straight of the orbit. The best way, I think, is to stay at AP equals zero. That can be a little more technical for someone who hasn't done it. So I said five seconds. Okay. All right, let's see if I just do this, if it'll give me the encounter, if I just manually correct here. There we go. Min miss encounter. Beautiful. Okay, and so now um, are we avoiding the moon? It looks like we're not getting the moon encounter. So what I can do though, what's my periapsis? I think I can do a maneuver up here somewhere that gives us uh, a closer min miss encounter. God, these numbers are just all over the place. The hell? Nope, that's not good. That's giving us a moon encounter. Okay. Oh, that's giving us a moon encounter after. You know what? Let me let me get rid of this. Let me warp to here so I get past the moon. Because I feel like this secondary orbit thing is throwing me off. Is there a way to get rid of this purple line so I don't see the second second thing? Second maneuver. I don't want to see my second orbit right now. Okay, so if I add an encounter here, or add a maneuver, not an encounter, add a maneuver. I want to... Uh, Where is it? Minmus periapsis is what I'm trying to change, and I am just not having luck with this right now. When you do a gravity turn, you end up increasing your horizontal velocity much slower in orbit than when the way you've been doing it, so you end up going really fast while still in the maneuver and, and still in the atmosphere. It's really cool if you don't blow up. Yeah, I think I've done one launch where I try to do that. I haven't been able to get sharp enough turns lately because lately when I've tried to do that, my freaking 
ship blows up. Well, it doesn't blow up, but it just doesn't work. Okay, this is not... Why is my Minmus Periapsis not changing? Why the hell is my Minmus Periapsis not changing? Do I need to do a different thing? Am I crazy? Shouldn't my Minmus Periapsis be changing when I'm doing this? I have no idea. I guess I just have to... I don't know. This game sometimes just makes my head hurt. Like, I swear this is what I've done all the other times, but because this purple line is here, it's throwing me off. Am I not approaching until the second? Is my Minmus encounter happening on the second orbit? Maybe that's what's throwing me off. Okay, that's what it is. It's the second orbit that I had the Minmus encounter. I think that's what I got thrown off by. Let me quick save then and... Um, okay, and that's why. That's why. Okay, so now I should be able to f do this. Okay, Minmus periapsis. Okay, that's not changing anything. It's still not changing it. Every description of every maneuver in KSB ends with, if you don't blow up, right? Yeah. I don't know why I can't do a maneuver that's changing my periapsis. I just don't know why. So I cannot auto warp that far. Wait a second. Thought it was on the second orbit. I'm so confused by this game right now. Okay, I have a I have a periapsis coming up here. I'm just gonna burn at retrograde at the periapsis and stop trying to mess with it. Is it the moon encounter that's throwing me off? I must just be having issues with moon encounters and stuff. Okay. Wow, I can still see the purple. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna burn at retrograde when we hit the periapsis, and I should be able to just get an orbit here. It's the end of a long five and a half hours of streaming Kerbal, so my brain is having issues staying alive. Staying alive, I don't even know what I'm saying. I can't even talk anymore. Okay, that's too fast. Why did you go fast? Okay, well, I can, can I still do this? Oh, God. Uh, where's my last quick save? Uh, Jesus Christ, man, this game. My brain is just so fried. Did the Mars flyby make it home? You mean the um, Antuna flyby? Yes. I, it sure did. It went pretty well, actually. Okay, where did I save? I saved... Where am I? Here, okay. Where's my periapsis? It's over there. Let's just warp here. But yeah, they uh, that mission went pretty well. It took us longer. Everything takes longer than I think it should take. But uh, we actually made that pretty, pretty successfully at the beginning of the day today. We're now just doing something we've never done before, which is try to get mining going on Minmus. So... Time warp complete. Where where are we? Where is Minmus? Okay. Time to periapsis. Or time to Minmus encounter. Do I have a periapsis right now is the question. See, I can't tell. Like, my orbits are coming together. Okay, I do have a periapsis. So I want to speed up to get to that periapsis. Let me do another quick save. Pure Paul, I'm all the time when you have a sphere of influence change. Okay. I'll take your word for it. There. Okay, nice. Okay, so we're going to burn retrograde at the periapsis, and I should get a very wide orbit, but I should be able to get a, an orbit here. Let me actually just add a... Let me just add a maneuver. It's going to be better than trying to keep screwing this up over and over again. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Periapsis of... 70. That will work for now. Okay, let's do that. So let's uh, warp to that maneuver. Okay. <laughs> That's a first encounter. It runs right through your second orbit. That's probably what's throwing me off or something. I don't know. The orbits like are right on top of each other. Okay, here we go. Save it. Whew, okay. I don't know if I can do another launch after this one. This is my brain has just been so fried. Maybe we can do one more to set up the fueling station. Three, two, one. Burn it. Okay, I think I went over a little bit, but that's fine. Our periapsis is at six kilometers. That's actually a little, <laughs> a little close, actually. Uh, so I need to burn at, was it prograde, I think? Prograde to fix that. That would be running into some, uh, running into some mountains, I believe. Yeah, just a scooch. Just a scooch. <laughs> okay. 25, I think that's safe. What's the highest uh, mountains? Did somebody say they're 30K high or 13? Let me just, just to be safe. There, that should be fine. Okay, that'll be plenty. Okay, and then we do a uh, retrograde burn at PE. Quick save. Um, just want to warp to here. There we go. And then once we get in a good orbit, we can start our approach. And um, we need to land in a place that's very strongly purple, I guess. A very purple section. Uh, we want to go retrograde, not prograde. I'm going to have like all these escape, uh, curb and escape rockets just orbiting all these moons. After stream last week, I decided to do a KSP run in which I hit orbit and both moons without SAS assistance. It was challenging, but fun. Wow. That does sound crazy. Okay. Three, two, one minute. Okay. All right, so I can probably start burning retrograde now, and I can get into an orbit that will work. Okay, so the question is, do I want to, I, I assume the deeper the purple, the more ore there is. I feel like if I just landed near my surface station ship, that could, if I, if my stations are close to each other, that might be a good thing. That way, if I get like a rover that needs to go between them for whatever reason, if I want to get a scientist to one or the other. I feel like I could have my two stations fairly close together, and I kind of like the idea of that. The darker the color, the faster you extract ore. Okay. So, like... Fascinating tip. If you want to go from an equatorial orbit to a polar orbit, it's actually cheaper to burn an AP out. Make the plane change, maneuver at AP, and then pull the AP back in from the PE. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. I, sh I, could, I could basically land pretty close to my surface station I'll be good so um, so what I'm gonna want to do is actually get a, a more equatorial orbit um, so I want to do do a burn I think he, around here 
to fix this, I think. Do something like that. There, and then I'll need to plan an approach that gets us kind of in this area. Okay, I think that will work. And probably after I do this burn, I'll want to get rid of this uh, this rocket here since I got this other DV up here. Okay. <laughs> Stupid flags that I put with the dumb... Bill loves Chachi. Who is Chachi? It's Jebediah's mom, didn't you know? Bill and Jebediah's mom. Together forever, but without Bill's consent. Try it. What are you talking about? Are you talking about this equatorial orbit to a polar orbit? Well, I'm not doing it that way. I'm doing it the opposite way, so I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to do what we're doing right here. I'm not going to try fancy things right now when my brain is already fried from five and a half hours. Oh, you're talking to him. Okay. Two, one. Okay, that should be good. Okay. Your maneuver is perfect. You are doing the exact right thing. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so now I need to plan. Uh, okay, let me first things first. Let's Let's go ahead and stage this. Let me do a hard save. Rand one. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and stage this guy. What just happened? Why is this rocket still attached to us? Okay. All right, good. That's what I wanted to happen. Okay. Now... We want to plan a descent that gets us to hit this thing when it's on the light side of the planet, actually. So I probably, I might want to wait a couple orbits here till that's getting closer to to where we want it. Because I want to like start a burn at retrograde here that brings us into that area. So let me, again, quick save. Let's have some time pass by. Oh, we're going the opposite direction, actually. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going the opposite direction of where I want to go. Uh, with the gravity being so light here, though, I can probably still do the same thing. I just start my retrograde burn earlier. You know, I might want to reverse my orbit now. Yeah, I can burn retro anywhere. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the other side of the uh, moon. I'm going to start burning retrograde to reverse our orbit here. Which is something you couldn't do easily, as nearly as easily at, with a planet with like actual strong gravity and stuff. We're frying the brain. Turn it down the heat just to simmer. That's right. You just want to simmer your brain. Simmer your brain on Kerbal Space Program. Um, let's see here. I feel like I want to go a little further, so I reverse it when I'm here and then can start my approach as this guy's on the light side. So let's go a little bit further here. I'm kind of like eyeballing this, but let's go for that. Quick save. You're going to land, so the orbit direction is less important. You just have to compensate for the moon rotation in the opposite way as normal. Um, I'm going to do what I was just talking about doing. Try to get my orbit to flip here. Okay. Now. Uh, now I burn it prograde. Nope, nope. I want to keep doing what I was doing, I think. Am I crazy? I think I want to keep doing what I was doing. Okay, is that flipping my orbit?
I'm actually kind of going down right now. Ha! <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. That just... That did not do what it was supposed to do. Alright, good thing I saved it. I feel like... Retrograde and prograde swap or something. I feel like something I did was wrong there. I think I need to turn off my SAS to do what I want to do here. I think I want to be at retrograde. Until we zero out, then I want to turn SAS off to keep the direction I was going, right? Is that right, or do I want to turn around? No, that's, that's right, I think. So... As soon as I zero out my speed, I think I want to turn SAS off so I keep the same direction. Okay. Or well, now I burn prograde, so that will keep my direction there. I think that's what threw me off there. Okay. A little funky, but I think that will work. Yeah. Wish me luck for tomorrow. I have an interview with Red Cross Regional Managers. Well, good luck, Huevo Hasasino. Okay. So now... Uh, my orbit's way bigger than I want it to be. Let me let me burn back at retrograde. Red Cross Regional manager, Managers, huh? Okay, that's getting some kind of low altitude periapsis here. Uh, how's my approach looking? Can I actually... You know what? I might be able to just land here. It'll be on the dark side, but this might be okay. I might could just go with this. This is lining up pretty well. I'll land on the dark side, but I think I'm okay with that. God, this little freaking thing is in the way here. Okay, let's go with that. All right, I did a hard save earlier, so I think we'll go with this. We're going to start speeding up time. And as we're coming into this ridge, that's when we're going to want to start slowing down to land here, I believe. I'm just going to set this as my target, too. You got good news at work, too. You got accepted into craps class, which is like the the holy grail for a blackjack dealer. 50% fail rate for the class, so you have to work hard. Okay. Well, that's cool. I'm going to slow down a little bit more right now, but we're going to speed this up a little bit more. We're basically going to try to land as close to this guy as we can. We've landed near this area twice. So if we can get one more good landing, uh, let me deploy my stuff here. How's my electric doing? Electric's doing great. Okay. Never done the mining before. Dark part is easier to mine. Well, I think so. I think you get more stuff from the darker the purple. I think is how it works. That's what people have been telling me anyway. I want to pass him a little bit, so now I think this is good if I start slowing descending here. I don't know about being easier. I think it's just more lucrative. Like, you get more ore faster, basically. All right, surface is what we want here, not orbit. Darker the purple, that makes sense. You're thinking they meant off the purple areas. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's the more, the darker the purple, the more or more concentrated it is. Okay, I'm just going to kind of hold it here for a bit. Because uh, it's not going to take much to break us down to comfortable speed here. Look at Bill Kerman having such a good time. 
Do I need to... I think Engineer just being next to this stuff makes it work more efficiently, if I understand that right. Kind of like the scientist needs to be in the lab. He just needs to be in a command pod attached to the drill and stuff. Prepare for litho break. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you're a you're a Kerbal Space Program nerd if you make jokes about litho break all the time. Okay, keep an eye on this guy. When I get to about five thousand, I'll start slowing us down some more. Is a huge KSP nerd. That's that's what I that's what I thought. Unsurprisingly. If you're watching me play Kerbal Space Program on Twitch, that's a that's a good chance. You might just be a KSP nerd. I'm gonna try to do what they tell you in the uh tutorial about about keeping it one tenth of your your speed is one tenth of your uh, altitude or something like that. See if I can keep it right or right along that line. You know, I'm hoping this thing is center of mass is okay for landing. Like KSB two trailer, litho breaking near you in 2020. <laughs> yeah, huge surprise. The devs of KSP two are huge KSP nerds. I've played many hundreds of hours, and I have watched hundreds of hours on YouTube and Twitch. Which means you know hundreds of hours worth of more information than I do about this game. But that's cool. It's, it's nice because as a streamer, getting help from people who are experts can be annoying when they know so much more than you sometimes. And you're like, I just give it to me in simple terms. But it's also very helpful because they can help you when you're failing, which... This is a game where you do a lot of failing, I feel like. All right, an electric charge is doing great, actually. Because I have so many batteries. Okay, slow us down to about 28 here. Okay. At least I can watch you on stream. Greetings from Spain. Nice, Koalazars. Greetings from Dallas. It's that, uh... Oh, you have your own emote. Nice. You must be a streamer. Or at least streamed enough to get... Uh, do you have to have affiliate to get emotes or does everybody get their own free emote? I assume you got to at least be an affiliate to unlock emote slots. You're making all the right decisions. You are close to being an expert yourself, Rand. You might not know the terms or the actions you are taking, but you do it right. I do it by feel, you know? It's not in here. It's in here. <laughs> I fly by my heart. I'm like Kevin Bacon in... What you call it? Uh, where's landing mode? No, in uh, Apollo 13. I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing, but I'm doing it, and I'm doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Okay. Do another quick save. I don't have my shadow to help me with my landing, but hopefully we'll still be fine. Kind of use those guys as reference points, I guess. Just to staring at the ground is not going to help when it's so dark. Pull, put the earth in the window and pray. That's right. I think that was, uh, was that Tom Hanks character that did that? All right, let's keep this slow, slow and steady. I could probably wait a little bit longer. I probably don't have to keep my speed too soft. I can I can wait till we're closer before we do that was a suicide break or whatever. You could see my 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 guy my my ship shaking back and forth a little bit. 
because it's a little a little imbalanced. It's a little imba. Alright, about a hundred meters I will break us more. So we come in the last hundred meters soft and smooth like a glove. Oh, am I landing by this flag? No, that must be on the other side of the planet. Or the moon. Okay, 200 meters. All right, let's start slowing ourselves down here. Oh, okay. Slow it down, slow it down, slow and steady. We got this. Oh. Oh. Like a glove, boys. Like a glove. Okay. All right. We are landed with our... Whatchamacallit? What, what was this thing? A mining drill thing? <laughs> GG cookie time. I'm not have a cookie, though, because I've had too many cookies lately, and I don't want to get, you know, i got to watch my girlish, my randish figure. All right, so if I deploy this guy, will this, like, stabilize me? Deploy this guy. Deploy this guy. I kind of don't want to run it till I'm on the light side of the, of the moon, though. So we now should be able to start get. Okay, I'm going to want to do um, this guy. I want to do convert. LF to, uh, you know what, let's, let's wait, let's wait till we are on the light side of the, the moon here, just so I don't screw myself up by using up all my battery or anything, but it should be fine because our, all of our, uh, uh, solar panels are extended, but we're going to start mining and then we'll have a fuel generation station going on. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect landing. 10 of 10. Thanks. Thanks. I've been practicing. All right. So let's start surface harvester. Sweet. Start this guy turning stuff into LF plus OX. And hey, we have electric charge. That's not sustainable. Okay. I thought it was going to be enough. Maybe as we get more direct sunlight, although I don't think these solar panels are actually uh, collecting much right now. It's not too bad. So that thing's collecting fuel. I wonder how it chooses where the fuel goes. You're further along than me. You've got nothing more to say. <laughs> so this is why you send miners to space like in Armageddon, huh? <laughs> We need to blow up this moon so it doesn't ram into the earth. So, so we're slowly getting fuel here now. If I just leave this, is my engineer doing stuff is my question. How do I know if he's actually doing stuff? Is he helping this thing run? Troll from here. Um, thermal efficiency, 100%. Service harvester, 3.54% load. Efficiency, 100%. I don't know what that means. There really should be a Steve Buscemi Kerbal. <laughs> so I guess Bill Kerman is just going to live here now, mining. And so the next thing we would need to do is we need to get a station up in orbit where we can store fuel. You know what I didn't I did put a I did put a fuel tank up here. And it's slowly, very slowly fueling feeling. He could get space madness or something. <laughs> this guy's probably gonna get space madness. Can I actually swap over to my science guy? No. He's too slightly too far away for me to swap over to him. Are the mods that you can get that will pull names from your sub follower list on Twitch for your curveballs? I have no idea, Alter Ego. No idea for... Uh, the only mod I'm really using is uh, the one that lets me use my joystick. Trash bag! Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay. 
So I got like 20 minutes. I don't know if that's enough time to get one more thing. What I might do is just design the next ship. Just kind of let this go. And so this will eventually fill this thing up with fuel. <laughs> Doesn't seem like this is going to be terribly fast. But if it just goes and goes, we might want to eventually add more tanks to this thing. If we end up using this a lot in the future. But let's go back to our space center. I might not launch our next ship, but I think we want to plan our next rocket, which is going to be probably... We're going to want the place where we dock in space for our refuel, our, um, our ships that we're going to... The place where we dock to refuel, basically. Alter wants a Kerbal named after him. I gotcha. Um... I, I'm not really doing any renaming in this game yet, Alter Ego. I'll do an FTL, but in this game, I like my Kerbals. I'm attached to them. So I don't know that I want to rename them right now. <laughs> no offense. But I like, you know, Jebediah and, and Bill. You know, all those crazy Kerbals. They kind of have an identity since I feel like in everybody's game they're the same names or whatever. So we need to design a refueling station. So this would be, I feel like this would definitely be an unmanned thing. So um, I probably don't even need to get a pilot for this. Just want to get a service bay to put this thing in. Uh, like that. There we go. And then we want the command and control. We want this guy. We definitely want a reaction wheel for this thing. Uh, we'll want batteries and solar panels and all that stuff. I probably should make this like a sub-assembly, actually. What, me? Maybe. Yeah, I know. I know. You want to be a Kerbal. I don't know if you want to be a Kerbal. Kerbals, you know, die a lot. Well, maybe not die, but they have they have rough times in space. Okay, all right. I feel like that's probably enough batteries for this thing that's just going to be in orbit all the time. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want you, you, to move inside of this, though. Oh, my God. Move inside of here. Thank you. Okay. I kind of want to say this is like my command module, actually. Is there anything else I would want in a command module? Uh, two batteries, that thing. I think I'm going to save this as a sub-assembly. Like, uh, unmanned command module or something. Whoops. Save this as, uh, unmanned command module okay save it okay so uh oh crap it saved it with the thing all out of position damn it there it's annoying as hell um so what is it if you just shift click on any part it'll move the entire thing is that right okay there we go unmanned command module Yes. Okay. All right. So this is going to be the thing. Oh, crap. I did it again. Jesus. I just got to shift click this every time. It's going to be annoying as hell. Okay. So this is going to be the command part. So I want basically big fuel tanks, I guess, attached to this. We want some sort of rocket just so I can, like, move this around. Um, we'll want solar panels as well. Uh, let's see here. Fuel tank. And probably, you know, I, I want a docking thing too. So I'll probably want an empty tank on the top of this. I want a big empty tank on the top of this guy. And we want a docking, uh, whatchamacallit, the coupling, a docking clampatron thing. Would I put a fairing over this thing? 
I, I'll need a satellite, so yeah, I think we'll do a fairing. So we want uh, engine on the bottom of this guy. Engine there, and then we want solar panels and a satellite dish. Do the X64. Okay. Is that the biggest one? Or is that the like next size up from this? 8, 16, 32. Whew. Okay. Yeah, it's probably best to have the largest tank we could have for this thing. Since it's going to be storing fuel. Although the problem is it's going to take a lot of trips to fill this up with the way I have this set up. Um, probably my land base. I'm going to need like a land base with a bunch of big tanks like this to store fuel. That's probably what I'm going to need. Okay, so... Uh, so docking port... All right, so we're going to dock to this thing, and that's where you're going to get your fuel. And I guess... I actually don't want a fairing. I don't need a fairing for this. Um, if I just put a nose cone on this thing, make this a little bit more streamlined or a little more uh, aerodynamic. Is there like a... I think there's a... What am I looking for? Structural... Adapter. If I do something like that, with this, why are you not attaching? You also put a grabber thing on the sides, really, so you don't have to assign. Align docking ports every time necessarily. Okay, why? There. Okay. Grabber thing on the sides radially. Okay. Hold Alt. Okay, I was holding Shift. Okay. All right, so we got a docking port there. Okay, I probably will want to do a fairing then. If I'm going to be putting docking uh, radial things on there. So probably a fairing right here. Is there a way to make it so that a fairing does not decouple? I can't do this yet. I have to I have to put my radial things on here first before I put the fairing. Okay. So What do you think? Should I do like four of these guys so it makes it as easy as possible? Something like this. So we can come in from the sides if needed. Okay. All right, and since we have that, then we can uh, put... Well, I want to make sure I'm not ramming into my solar panels wherever I place them. So let's put these all at the top and then put solar panels and the radar down here. We don't want them we don't want them ramming into each other. And so I also don't want them sticking out as far probably. So, I could probably use these guys actually. Do these solar panels work well when they can't track the sun when they're just orbiting? Those are smooth, so you don't think I need a fairing? Okay, maybe I can go without a fairing. I'm just worried about them burning up. Like solar panels burning up as I launch is what I'm worried about. But if I just do the deployable ones, this is probably going to be the best. Get all the solar panels there. Get a radar. Um, probably don't need the biggest guy ever here. With all the relays we have, I probably just want... I probably can do this guy. Since he's deployable, right? That's probably the... Is there a thing with how many Gs, how much heat they can take? 2,000. They're all similar in how much temperature they can take, I guess. Yeah. 
Okay. I feel like that should be enough right there for what we need. Okay. Okay, that should definitely be enough. So we got docking, we got fuel. Um, we basically want to be able to dock to load this thing with fuel and then dock to get fuel from it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need here. I don't think there's anything else I need. So if I just shift click, everything will move together. Okay. So if I put a decoupler on the bottom of this, I think that's good. Maybe I can just get this thing in orbit right now if I have enough time. If I can get a launch that's smooth, I could probably do it. Maybe I can try the uh, the launch that Saucer or uh, Alter Ego was talking about with keeping my... Or whoever it was. Whoever told me about that launch of keeping my apiosis, timed apiosis, ap apoapsis, whatever. Big exit rocket. Okay. And my staging is all messed up. Why is my staging all messed up? Did I save it with messed up staging? Okay, I'm going to fix the staging and then resave this subassembly because it's the subassembly itself is staged incorrectly. I don't know if it saves staging or what. Maybe it doesn't save, save staging for whatever reason. Okay, so the first ones to go are correct. Okay, these guys are wrong though. Those need to be the, no, that's, that's the, I need a plus here. So I need that one to go and those guys to go. And that decouples. Natty couples, uh, yes, that's right. Okay, that should be good. Let me, s I keep, s I swear I keep resaving this thing. So this is going to be our fueling orbital, orbital station. So save that guy. Where are okay? And I want to resave this sub assembly with hopefully the correct staging. I don't know if it just doesn't save staging or what. Save. Get some water. No dehydration monoxide and spes. No, I'm good. I'm I'm only gonna go for the. I'm only gonna do this launch. This looks like. It might have some aerodynamic issues, but I'm going to go with this and launch. You know, so much with that center tank, you can get into Minmus orbit and then just leave everything together. I think even leave all this stuff together? I probably could, and that might give me extra storage, too. Okay, let's go for it. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. I don't need that last poodle. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. If nothing else, it's extra fuel storage. Again, money is no object. Money is no object. I'm rich. I'm so rich in this video game. Alrighty, let's hope I do this right. Um, so in order to try to do this thing, as soon as I break the atmosphere, I, I cut throttle. I want to be at a 45 degree angle when I do that. It's it's really hard for me to do that with this rocket layout, though, apparently. So I don't know if I can get my angle. But then what I want to do is keep my time to apoapsis at about 5 seconds, which is burning at prograde. Uh, adjusting my throttle to burn at prograde where my time to apoapsis stays steady, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Let's see if I can do this. My brain's already fried trying to think of this, but let's see if we can do it. Not quite. So just as you leave the launch pad, once you're at 50 MS, you want to start tilting pretty hard. 
I don't want to do that saucer because every time I do that, my my rocket like flips hardcore. See, I can't do that. That is that is not possible with this ship let let out. I can't do that. Every time, every time I try with this ship, with this rocket, with this exit rocket, I think there's just too much thrust on it for me to be able to do that. Maybe if I uh, do a thrust limiter on these rockets for my, let me, let's, if, if I go down to like, I did this before I put it down to 75% and it felt a little better. Let me try that. Got it so hard to get this exactly. Can I change the number? Can I click on this number? Ugh. 75.5. I need them to be the exact same so they're not putting out different amounts here. Whatever, I'll get it within 0.5, I guess. I can't get these exact. I swear the controls on this game just drive me crazy so often. There, I'll just do that. Okay. Your fins are too small? Okay. Well, I'm not changing my fins right now because I'm about to finish my stream. So <laughs> I'm not going to go back and redesign a bunch of that stuff. We should be able to make this work still. Hey, what's up, St. Savagas? Space, uh, Kerbal Space 2 trailer. I did see it and it looks amazing. Looks amazing. Cannot click on the number, which is one of the worst UI things in this game. You can do it in the VAB and they will all adjust, but not on the launch pad. Okay. Right, I'm going to start slowly tilting. Hopefully not that the top of my rocket doesn't fall off like it wanted to do last time. Nope, 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 nope. See? I don't understand why it does that, man. I just don't understand. I just can't turn this thing. This thing will not turn. I guess it's my I guess it's my fins. Um, I don't know if I have larger fins unlocked, honestly. I tried to do it with lower thrust. I'm I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm just gonna get into I'm gonna get a not perfect launch. We're gonna use more fuel than we should. Cause I just I don't wanna be doing <laughs> this for another thirty minutes. Uh, center of mass is too high. Okay. Probably because this big giant empty tank I have up here. We're just going to do a not optimal launch. It's fine. And now you're saying center of mass is too low. And I have two different people saying two different things. My favorite thing about playing Kerbal Space Program. All right, there. I will break the atmosphere at the apoapsis. I'm going almost straight up. <laughs> I'm just, uh, this is not going to be very good, but it's fine. Actually, no, I don't want to be prograde. I need to be burning. Okay, here we go. There's prograde. Gravity turns will be harder. You have the DV to do what you want. Yeah, it's fine. Most of my launches are like this. I, I, I Apparently, I design ships that are super top or bottom heavy. Okay. So, the goal... I don't know that I can do what you guys were talking about with trying to keep the time to apoapsis at the same amount of time. But if I stay at prograde and burn at like five seconds to apoapsis, will that work? I'm going to quick save, but I'm probably not going to quick load because that keeps you from being able to revert to launch. Uh, am I out of the atmosphere yet? I am. So let me get some solar arrays going. Just because I hate when I forget to do this. And run out of electricity. Christopher's right. I misspoke. The blue center of it of lifts has to stay underneath the center of mass. Otherwise, it will flip. Okay. 
All right, so I guess I'm going to burn it five seconds and hope that this time to apoapsis stays, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. Actually, I'm going to start it a little earlier to make sure we can keep up with the pro uh, periapsis. I need to end our space at more of an angle. I know. I know. Just my ship designs won't do that. I mean, it's kind of working. The uh, apoapsis, uh, not really. Okay, now I need to actually keep it above the blue to get into orb to circularize here. I believe. The whole apoapsis thing is only when you're launching using a gravity turn. Okay. Well, with any of the rockets we're designing lately, we can't really do that because they're... They have a bunch of extra stuff on top of them that are adding weight. Things like mining drills and big empty fuel tanks to fill with the fuel we're going to be trying to create. Okay, I think this will still work. Need big fins or big reaction wheels to compensate for a top-heavy ship? I do have a big reaction wheel on this thing. It's probably just, there's probably not a reaction wheel big enough, I guess. For how top-heavy this is. Okay. And... Uh, my periapsis is not getting high enough. Uh... Okay. My apoapsis is fine, though. Okay, I think I can probably work with this. We're in orbit. We're just, like, really close to... Really close to uh, the atmosphere. But that should be fine. Okay, set as focus, or set as target. Okay, ascending node. Okay, I'm going to have to fix my ascending node, ascending node, descending node thingy here first. I might arrow break a bit. Hopefully not enough to be an issue. Um, so I need a maneuver to match my thing here. Uh, no, not apoapsis. That guy. Nope, that's the wrong direction. Okay. If you can't tell, I'm kind of tired kind of tired so I'm not making best maneuvers and stuff here right now can I did I there it is there we go let's do that warp to next maneuver uh, fine attempt took you a few tries to start to perfect it but you had the right idea you remembered how to do it just fine yeah it's gonna t it's definitely gonna take more practice and me having better ship layouts and stuff. I just hope my arrow breaking is not going to break my solar panels. That's what I'm worried about. But hopefully my maneuvers I'll be able to make and not have that issue. Okay. Those are all extended. Okay. Hmm. I guess the... Uh, I'm always looking for ap periapsis to be above like 70 since that's like you're safe from hitting the orbit or whatever. The good thing is the claws were fine. Well, at least those didn't cause an issue with uh, burning up on our launch. They may have contributed to us being top heavy, heavy but, you know, it's fine. 70K is a sweet spot. Okay. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Punch it. Okay, overshot a bit, but as long as our descending descending node is close enough. Okay, that's that's fine. That's actually great. So now I need to get a uh, Minmus encounter. And hopefully the moon, looks like the moon's not going to be in the way this time at least. That's good. So I believe I need a maneuver over here. 
and see where this guy goes. I keep coming in on the back side. I don't like that. I want to come in on I want to come in from behind. Uh, we like pass it and come back in. I don't like that if I can help help that. And fine tuning these maneuvers to get in get our encounters sometimes is a difficulty for me and I I really 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 hate the way the camera is focused here when you're trying to make these things happen. I'm still coming out on the other side. How do I make it? Like, because I want to make fine tunements of moving this around, but I can't see my encounter when I do that crap. It's so annoying. Yeah, because we come in from the backside, and I'd rather come in. I wonder, can I? Okay, if we do that, is that what we want to do? You can share a link to a picture. Christopher, it's probably too late for right now. If you, next time you come in, maybe do that. But for now, um, actually, I think it was better the other way. I think it's better this way. Wow, that's a 22K periapsis. I think, let's just, uh, it's a little low, but we can adjust it. Let's go with that. Okay, let's go with that. And warp to next maneuver. Save. Quick save. And anything you link to me right now, I'm going to look at, and it's just my brain is not going to understand it. So <laughs> next time you come in and it's, and it's not quite six hours into the stream, over six hours in the stream, when my brain can maybe handle some, process some information, I can take a look at it. But uh, not to sound diva-ish, but my brain's pretty fried. It's just a graph. Yeah, I don't want to look at a graph right now. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, my brain's fried. I did about 10, hour, 10 to 11 hours of work yesterday, and I'm over six hours in today, and my brain's just fried. I just can't, can't handle more processing of information at the moment. Alrighty, I'll be playing tomorrow. So if you want to bring it in as soon as you come in tomorrow, if you if you come to the stream tomorrow, I'll be happy to look at it. I just, I guess I am a diva right now. I just can't, I can't process more information. Okay. Thirteen, twelve. Probably won't get this exact, especially since I'm using a giant rocket to try to make this maneuver. And then it lags. Okay, I think we'll call that good. And where does that bring me? That brings me at a periapsis of really far out, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I think we can make an adjustment halfway through to uh, make it even better. Get the periapsis closer. Periapsis of... We'll go with that. Okay. Warp to next maneuver. Basically, if I get this guy in orbit, I want him to have a very... I want this to be a very... Um, well... Equ equatorial orbit, I guess is the correct word. I want him to have a very good equ equatorial orbit. Um, so that people can just easily dock with us with this, uh, with this ship to refuel is kind of the plan for what we're setting up here. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to burn. That's going to be very exact here with 
You know what? I'm going to turn this guy down. Go like 20% or something. Super low here. This rock is just too powerful. 18, 17, 16, 15... Okay. Four, three, two, one. Oh, slightly past it, but uh, where does that put us? Periapsis of 42, that's great. We'll take that. Okay. So let us uh, quick save. Warp here. And if we can get in a good orbit here, we will call that good. And we will have set up, gotten the initial setup for having a mining base that can get us, I guess, infinite fuel. I assume it takes a long time to get these about this, uh, to get large amounts of fuel. Okay, so Minmus encounter, we can just do fast speed here and it'll slow us down when we get our encounter. Okay, time to periapsis is two hours. Um, let's just plan a maneuver to get our orbit set how we want it to be. So I believe we'll be able to burn it retrograde. Here we go. Man, I got so much stuff orbiting this moon. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, how does that look? Am I good with that? I want apoapsis and periapsis actually to be as even as possible if I can. So if I get it. That looks pretty good. Okay. Okay. I'm close to using up all the fuel in this one. Uh, in our original tank. Or to next maneuver. Actually, no, I'm not. 926. I got plenty. Always way more fuel than I need. And then we correct the uh, tilt of our axis of our orbit, and then we'll be good, man. We'll be good. Do, 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 do. Well, the way this thing vibrates to get it to turn is kind of sketchy. Okay, let's go a little faster. I'm impatient. Okay, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Hopefully, hopefully my lower burn threshold or whatever on this engine is not going to screw up my maneuvers. Hopefully it's actually helping them be more exact, more precise. Okay. How's that look? Very good. We will take that. So now we just need a... Uh, how come I can't get an ascending node, descending node? I guess I just have to go wherever I think it looks most... Uh, crossing the equator here. Actually, it'll be faster if I do it over the other one. So I'll get rid of that. So we're going to do uh, right over, right about here. Maneuver. And we want to tilt this. Uh, I can't tell if that's exactly right that looks pretty good okay we'll go with that and then what is my periapsis apoapsis i could probably fix that a bit too here right nope other direction this way nope that's the wrong direction i'm gonna go this way nope no we don't do that we want to do oh my god i need to change this little thingy here Wrong direction. OK. 
Okay. Okay, that's good. That's about as close to exact as we're going to get this, I think. Is that what we want? Yeah, that'll be a great orbit there. Okay, let's go to that maneuver. And we will have our fueling station set up. Now we'll just have to be able to get fuel to and from it will be the challenge. But I guess what, what this is good for is when we have later excursions out further into two other planets... We can launch with less fuel and then just kind of refuel, I guess. I guess that's kind of how you use something like this. Quick save. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it. Okay, there we go. And we are in an orbit. Okay. So this is our fueling orbital station. Awesome. Um, and that's in a really good orbit around Minmus. So if we want to do things like fly from Kerbal, go fuel up, then fly out to Duna and Dress and Jewel and Elu, we should be in good shape. I don't know if we'd... Would you do something like that if you're going to EVE? I guess so. I guess anywhere away from here, if you need need that, that'll be useful. So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to call... That's going to do it for me. That's about six and a half hours of streaming. I am kind of brain fried. So thank you all so much for watching. If there's anybody new to the stream, please hit the follow. Hope you enjoyed the Kerbal Space Program. We're going to fry my brain again tomorrow with some more Kerbal Space Program, which we're going to do... I don't know if we'll uh, try to finish setting up the station or maybe actually do our uh, Duna landing. I might want to take a break from this fueling thing and do our Duna landing. So uh, anyway, I'm going to head out and crash. You all have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Have a great night. And thanks for hanging out. Again, I can't thank you enough for the support and just hanging out and keeping me company. So you guys have a good one. And we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, my friends. Happy gaming. You guys rock.